Hi! This is a video response to Books and Quills. Um, video book shelf tour, I think that's what it's called. I feel bad if that's not it. Um, I haven't filmed anything today. It's been a very uneventful day because um, the j whole junior class was on a field trip that I was too late to sign up for. So my biggest class that I had today consisted of three people, so that was fun. I did, however, finish um, a book. Oh, I haven't read an entire book since about October, not including um, Beetle the Bird. So yeah, I'm going to give you a book t bookshelf tour-ish. Um, I apologize for the fact that I'm not your typical girl. So my room's kind of messy right now. Kind of all really, kind of really messy. So enjoy. It's currently 10:30 at night too. So I have to make this fairly quickly. And I apologize if I'm really quiet, like I usually am in my videos, because don't my mom's about to go to sleep, and I do not want to disturb. So go. My bookshelf is no fancy organization thing. What am I trying to say? Um, it's just by author's last name, and if it's the same author, by the title of the book. No biggie. Um, Things Fall Apart. Had to read that for school. Last, last year? Yeah, last year. Another church book. The Women. Haven't read that yet. Love the movie. Haven't read it yet. Fantastic Voyage. I read the first two pages and I wanted to die. <laughs> Took Everlasting, I read it, um, twice? Maybe? <laughs> Books falling everywhere. Yeah, I liked it. It was cute. It was short, obviously. Quick read. Um, I Have Lived a Thousand Years. It's about the Holocaust. I like books about the Holocaust, even though they're sad. I find that time period very interesting. Um, Dandelion Wine. Love this book. It's, there's no real plot line, and it's... Usually that really bugs me with books, but I really liked it. Rebel Angels, I love this trilogy. I've read all of them. Um, I don't know where my sweet far thing is. I'm kind of worried. Oh, these are out from my video a couple days ago. Um, this is Wuthering Heights. Cute little thing my friend Gabby got me a while back. Um, I am a fan of the Bronte sisters, as you can see. <laughs> it has a little note, you know, how people write notes to, if they're giving gifts to some, a book, to, uh, if they're giving a book as a gift to someone, they write a little note in it. I thought that was fun, so I got it. It was really, really cheap. And then, a couple months later for Christmas, my cousin got, uh, my cousin and his wife got me that one for Christmas, which is funny. This is my monkey, Mo, a little princess. I always love the movie, but I have yet to read this. Um, the Summer of the Swans. I this was a book of the month in elementary school, and um, we went and saw the play, and I really liked it when I was little. Ender's Shadow. I have read Ender's Game and Speaker for the Dead, but I have yet. This is from the perspective of. Um, a different character. Um, my Antonia. I read the first few pages. I didn't. I couldn't get into it. I don't know why. I mean, it wasn't bad. I just couldn't get into it. Um, the Alchemist. A lot of people like this book. I do not. Not a fan. But if you like it, that uh, whatever floats your boat. But I didn't. I had to read it for school, and I just I don't know. Maybe I'm just not philosophical enough. I have a lot of Sarah Death and books. Did not realize that. Sense and Sensibility, I love, this is really the only Jane Austen book that I have loved dearly forever. Um, I have not read the entire thing. It's one of those books that I've tried to read recently. I've gotten halfway through, but have yet to finish. Another Sarah Destin book, Just Listen. I like that one a lot. Second Shelf. Um, little hand ring holder thing that I had when I was little. Box from some stuff. Uh, I'm just gonna pull this crap down here. Oliver Twist, yet to read it. 
Ugh, trying to get this out. Bert Hindenburg, 1937. I read this a long time ago. I liked it at the time. I don't know. It's just, it was cheesy. I don't know. I liked it though. Um, the Boy Who Fell Out of the Sky. I have yet to read it. I found it at this bookstore that we were on a road trip or something and we saw this billboard for this bookstore and it said all the books were f under four dollars rent and stuff so it was cool. I got that there. Um, a Girl Named Disaster. I read that in eighth grade, I think, for school. I liked it. It was okay. I liked it at the time. Diary of Anne Frank. I haven't read it yet. I read it a while ago. I got this. This is a children's book that I'm borrowing from a friend. That I've been borrowing from her a while. I have yet to return. And it's like that thick and I have yet to finish it. Um, this is Splendor by Anne. Uh, Anna Gob Godbert Beerson. That's there's four books. The first one is called The Lux. If you're interested, um, and then The Princess Bride. I read it, and it's like the 50th or whatever anniversary edition. And it said it had commentary in it, and I was stupid and skipped over the commentary and did not realize that that's actually a part of the book. So I need to reread that, because that would make a whole lot more sense. I love the movie. An Abundance Catherine's, Looking for Alaska. Um, the Fire of Faith, that's another church book. Um, the Quiet Girl, That's I got that at the same store that I got this one at, the four, under $4 one. Yeah. Uh, a Thousand Splendid Sons, I have not read that, but I have read The Kite Runner. I liked The Kite Runner, it was so, so sad, but I liked it. Brave New World. I read that for school. I did not like it. Yeah. Not much to say about that. Nancy Drew books going on. Ophelia, it tells the story of um, Ophelia <laughs> in the from the play Hamlet. I really liked it. Um, yeah. Uh, a Separate Piece by John Knowles. I have yet to read it. I really want to. I know what it's about and I know how it ends, which I hate to say, but I, it. I want to read it. To Kill a Mockingbird. Freaking love it. So, so good. Number of the Stars by Lois Lowry. I have yet to read it. Um, I have read The Giver and I love that book so much. Snow. This is a book that I really, really liked when I was younger. Um, I say younger, maybe like two or three years ago. Or th or no, three or four years ago. Fable Haven. I got this at a white elephant party thing. And I really want to read it, but I have yet to. Little House on the Prairie. It's actually one of the first books that I really liked when I was younger. I read it in third or fourth grade. French on the go. Animal Farm. Aragon, have not read it yet. Uh, the Tale of Peter Rabbit. Ah, I love it. The First American Revolution. Um, yeah. I haven't read it. Saints of the River, that's another one I got at that bookstore. This is kind of disappointing, honestly. <laughs> this whole book thing. This is another one I got at the bookstore thing, The Edge of Winter by Luan Rice. Stiffs, the cur Curious Lives of Human Cadavers. You'd think it'd be very disturbing, but it's... I mean, it is disturbing, but it's funny. That's awful. It's like dark humor. It's another one I had to read for school. Um, not a lot of people liked it, but I did. I don't know. Maybe that makes me a bad person. <laughs> I don't know. Um, a Treasury of Best Loved Rhymes. Um, I'm pretty sure this was a gift or some book that a family member gave to me that was theirs when they were younger. I don't remember. Oh, look. It was my mom's. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, a little note. Yeah, okay. Um, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The Moon Bridge. It's a book I read in 6th grade, 5th grade, something like that. Um, The Lovely Bones. I haven't read it yet. Um, I want to. I don't know. I'm just kind of curious. Romeo and Juliet. Because I read it. Oh, I had to read it for school last year. Um, 
um, Milkweed. It's one of those books that a bunch of my friends have recommended. Um, I don't think I've read it. <laughs> if I did, it didn't have much of an impact, apparently. But, yeah, I have nothing to say because I don't think I've read it. Born on a Blue Day. It's another $4 and under book. I'm really sad about those at the moment. War and Peace. I read the first couple of chapters. I could not keep up. I know a lot of people have trouble with this book, but I'm so disappointed in myself that I couldn't keep up with all of it because all the names are like French and Russian or whatever, and there's like 20 million different characters, but I don't know. Maybe I'll try again someday. Leviathan, I, or Leviathan, however you want to say it. I don't remember how it's pronounced. I feel stupid. Um, <laughs> Midnighters by Scott Westerfeld. I have yet to read it. Really want to, though. The Age of Innocence. The Age of Innocence. Um, another Barnes & Noble classic. I read it. I think I read halfway. I, read, I did read the whole thing. I think I liked it. Maybe I didn't read the- oh, I, I read most of it. I read, read like three-fourths of it. It's another one of those that I read recently and couldn't finish because of life getting in the way. I'm going to say his name wrong, but this is Night by Eli Eli Weasel. Weasel? <laughs> I really love it. Another Holocaust book, but I had to um, do a project on- a couple projects on it in ninth grade. And oh, I really like this book a lot. More Little House on the Prairie books. I guess I have doubles. Uh, Dear Austin, Letters from the Underground Railroad. Another children's book that I snuck out of my elementary school library to never be returned. Going to the dresser. Going to the dresser. Lord of the Rings. Jane Austen, seven novels. My friend got that for me for Christmas last year. Um, C.S. Lewis, Mere Christianity. I haven't read it yet, but I plan to soon. Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Quidditch Through the Ages. I yet to read these, obviously, because they're still in the package, but I'm totally excited. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. I got this one in Seattle at the um, Harry Potter exhibition. I got this one in Utah at the BYU Education Week, if you're curious. Anakin Gables, I got that at Get All the Way Head Week. I got this at Education Week as well. Um, I got these in a used bookstore in Washington or Canada, I can't remember, British Columbia. But they're the Chronicles of Narnia. They're super de cool and they have illustrations on the inside. I'm not being very quiet. I feel like I should be very quiet. This is the cover to Splendor. If you're interested. I don't know, there are books sprawled all over my desk. And I don't want to show you my desk because it's embarrassing. But I will just hold them up for you. Uncle Tungsten, the Memoirs of a Chemical Boyhood. I had to read that for school. It was okay. I feel like chemistry, it's good. The Bell Jar. Did not like it. Had to read it for school. <laughs> Beetle the Bar, Canada edition. I honestly like the Canada cover more than I like the American cover. <laughs> House Rules by Jody Pickolt. It's a book we had to read for um, book club. The Murder of Roger Ackroyd by Agatha Christie. I did not read the whole thing. It was a book club book. Paper Towns. This is Xenocide, Xenocide. It's another book in the Ender's Game series. And there's The Giver. Love it. So I have a lot more books than that, but I they're just all over the place. And this will be like a 50 minute long video. Not really, that's an exaggeration, but still. Um, so yeah, Sana, I hope you enjoy this, if you're even watching this. So, good night, everyone.